Bonsoir, Melanie. <laughs> Je ne parle pas bien français, but I hope you speak English. Yes, I speak English. Okay. So we saw you yesterday in, in the concert live and it was a great show. And how do you feel after such concerts? Uh, uh, I feel really good because um, it was the show of Nouvelle Vague. And, you know, I've been singing in Nouvelle Vague for eight years. So I was feeling really comfortable on stage with this audience I was like at home I was like oh hello you know mm -hmm. so I was very happy I really enjoyed it it was really a lot of fun to open usually it's a bit stressful to open for another band but Nouvelle Vague is a bit my band so it was really cool atmosphere and people reacted really well to French songs I was amazed like some people were just like oh no mm -hmm. so I was uh, was really good. Do um, you think the Germans are shy? <laughs> the audience is uh, another audience? Oh, no, no, they're not as shy as French people, so God. <laughs> so it's good. No, no, they're good. I think they're good. They're really listening. They're really, uh, yeah, they're really concentrated uh, for me. I think it's a yeah. very good audience, German audience. <laughs> Today we want to ask some question about your new album that's coming up at uh, February. Really? And um, why is it called Bye Bye Manchester? And <laughs> 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 maybe you've heard the question before. Yeah, uh, in fact, I'm a, ever since I'm a teenager, I, I'm really uh, obsessed by Manchester because for me it's you write good songs in Manchester. You know, it's it's okay. it's something I have. It's my I never traveled when I was 13, 14, but I wanted to go to Manchester. <laughs> so it was my fantasy to go there. And after that, I discovered Manchester touring with Nouvelle Vague. I made friend there and uh, I don't know, I needed a place to go and write this album. And uh, I decided to go in Manchester. I thought it was good because I will have this kind of in English energy to do pop and everything. And I needed to really be by myself and think about what I wanted to to say in this album um, and that's all and, and when I finished uh, writing all the songs I, I, I think I wrote like 20 songs down there and uh, and then I said oh well it's time to go yeah. so and bye and bye. yeah so it was and I called one of my song bye bye Manchester and I thought oh that's a good that's a good name for the album because as well it's all about going away and coming back so it's it would make sense bye bye Manchester <laughs> J'ai la nostalgie et soudain j'oublie L'océan m'attend à chaque tournant Parti pour le grand tour, je ne reviendrai pas Je laisse tout, je te laisse à moi Bye bye Manchester Je repense à nous. 
this this album Bye Bye Manchester is all all about um, uh, decide one day that you're just gonna go away. And it's it's I really for me it's really important this because I, I was not a singer I became an, I became a singer with Nouvelle Vague and I decided to just quit my other life and it's it's really and this album for me is all about this set to Ifwa is about you know seven or eight times you're gonna try something it's not gonna work and then one day it's gonna work and then and you never know when and uh, and I don't know I feel like every day I remember how lucky you know um, to be there and to to do this these songs and stuff and um, I always feel like um, I need this kind of freedom in my head to, to know that I can tomorrow go and live in Berlin if I want and, uh, and it's possible and it's great and okay. um, that's, that's what I want to say, I don't know. Which direction do we expect in your new album? Is it a kind of Nouvelle Vague sound or is it kind of... Mm, and it's not Nouvelle Vague because it's um, it's really based on... I, I composed the whole album with my little um, uh, Casio uh, synthesizer, which is really like a joke of a keyboard, but uh, everyone is making fun, but I really like it. And I really take it on tour to compose my songs and everything. So I really wanted to keep those kind of sound Uh, like the kind of little drum you have in this, you know, little toy Casio uh, keyboard. And uh, so it's not like Nouvelle Vague. I think it's much more like a, sounds a little bit like a soundtrack for a movie uh, with lots of little uh, sounds that uh, you don't really know what it is. You don't know if it's a violin or if it's, but in fact, it's just a little keyboard. <laughs> so it's, um, it's, it's, it's pop. It's, uh, there's a little bit of electro. Uh, it's not really electro, but it's kind of a, um, it's quite intimate pop with little keyboard sounds, you know. So it's uh, it's it's not based on guitar at all. It's not folk. It's really like it's like special you. Yeah, it's my it's, sound. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Melanie Pump. Right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How do you think is the best time to create a song when when you are in a good mood or when you are in a bad mood or when is you never kind know. of I think the best time to write is when you don't try to write in fact because when you try to write you like your head is too much your brain is is um, you know is giving you wrong ideas or I don't know it's I think the best time is when you're like oh god I don't have time I have five minutes okay I j and you just write something yeah I think for me it was this the best song the song I really like um said to before I really wrote it two days before going into the studio this one I didn't write in Manchester this this one was like okay I'm, I'm back in Paris I go to studio in two days uh, maybe I can just think about something and uh and it all came the little synthesizer part and the and the lyrics all came straight away wow. and um, so I think that but on, on some other songs I worked and worked and worked and worked and I don't know it's it's really there's no answer to this question uh, for me there's no moment it's it's I don't know it's magical it's okay. just like yeah just une petite chose je voudrais vous présenter Paul ici merci et Julien la batterie Thank you. 
dream of songs like Paul McCartney dreamed the uh, Let ah, It Be or yeah. <laughs> uh, not never happened to me yet but uh, maybe I uh, I don't know maybe yeah I like to dream about uh, I dream a lot of my uh, like the stories you know I have for my songs but not I don't I don't I could like that to wake up and say oh it's a new song yeah. it's a new day yeah. <laughs> that's I'm good. good yes okay <laughs> Cette cigarette pour occuper mes dix doigts Je la fumerai peut-être Quand j'aurai trop le mal de toi Ne fais donc pas cette tête C'est toi qui me laisses cela C'est toi qui veux que l'on m'arrête Toi qui ce soir in which time do you want to go if you had a time machine? <laughs> oh, uh, f I think uh, it's hard, but I think yeah, probably the sixties would be good. Sixties in Paris or sixties in another country? Sixties in New York or something. I think it would be be quite interesting, and. Um, yeah, I'm quite fascinated by all the Patti Smith, you know, book and everything. And I, I thought that this period was amazing. You go and you you go and you just meet everyone in a you know in a in a bar because everyone is in this bar and and it's just like you know Mick Jagger and then you just go and say hi to Andy Warhol and it's just yeah it's like it's kind of seems to me it was a dream period. But I really like. Um, today as well because uh, in Paris actually I live in Paris and it's it's really good like it's been a while that uh, there's not so much um, um, uh, bands singing in French that are really interesting and really doing some really um, uh, modern you know contemporary mm -hmm. pop yeah. uh, or folk but it's something that you know, you all, you all know Chanson Française, uh, but now you go in Paris and you have all these little bands trying to sing in French, but really trying to mm. to uh, to be a bit more, uh, to be really new. And it's I really like this period musically for in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> feel inspired by some old French music? Do you have uh, idol like? Uh, f old French music? Uh, I'm f I'm a f anyone in France will say uh, Serge Gainsbourg because it's mm. really the one that inspired everyone mm -hmm. and uh, but I loved when the, you have uh, Serge Gainsbourg writing songs for Brigitte Bardot. For me mm. it was just the best. Yeah. It was like two, <laughs> uh, like two worlds smashing, you know, and so sexy all the songs and uh, and so so great. So yeah. And Françoise Hardy. Françoise Hardy, yeah, uh, <laughs> she's she's amazing. She's she's the pure French uh, sad girl, you know. It, she's so melancholic. It's great. She's she's beautiful. She's still she's still doing amazing albums right now. So. Oh. Would you dance with me in the ocean, deep down in the sea? How far would you go? How bad can I be? Do you drink whiskey or <laughs> what is the... I drink a lot of whiskey. <laughs> no, but the secret is that I'm not, I'm not working on my voice. The secret is I sing exactly as I talk kind of like I, I just sing the the songs I'm not thinking about being technical or, or getting this note or, the, or this note or this note and and I really what I like is to have a great song great lyrics and just tell it to people like you know so uh, I don't know I think I think I'm really natural the way I do it so uh, that's what people like and that's what I like in other singers uh, it's this kind of really 
you can feel the person behind the voice, you know? Mm -hmm. When you work too much and when you try too much to do stuff, you can't really access to the, to the heart of you. Yeah. Anyway. And I think when, when you <laughs> sing, it's like, um, yeah, you, you tell the story and we feel it. We feel your, yeah, well your that's emotion. Thank you. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday I saw it and I was like, um, in it, yeah, I was in the song with you and it feels like when you were asking like uh, the question yesterday to the audience, uh, how do you forget somebody yeah. and uh, yeah, what, what is your secret about it? How, how do you forget somebody? You wait 12 months, it's my secret. It's like there's no secret you have to, you have to leave yourself 12 months. It's always worked for me and after like a year you're like, oh, oh. it's over, it's gone. <laughs> Ich nicht der ein als besser, sie gut rechnen in Karte Polar. Denn ich bin ich nicht mehr schreien. 